Try to get your mind quiet. Focus on the breath here in the present moment. You don't have to think about anything else. Just think about the breath coming in, going out. As for any other thoughts that may come into the mind, you can let them go. It's good to be able to step back from your thoughts every now and then, not take them so seriously. You step back and then you begin to see which ones are ones that you really want to follow and which ones are just pressing. Then insist that you follow them, but you don't really have to. In fact, if you follow them, it's not going to be good for you. You want to be able to choose your thoughts like this. Otherwise, they can take you anywhere, because it's through our thoughts that we act, and it's through our actions that we shape our lives. So you want to get some control over which thoughts you follow and which ones you don't. So you've got to give yourself a good place to stand. It's like standing on the side of a road. If it's raining and miserable and cold, any bus that comes up, you're going to just jump on the bus. You have no idea where it's going to go. You don't care. You just want to get out of the rain. It's the same with our thoughts. If you're feeling ill at ease, then you go for whatever thought can take you away from the present moment. That way you don't see what's going on, because it's in the present moment that your decisions are being made. If it, you have to think, okay, you want to think about things that will be to your benefit, that will not harm yourself and not harm anybody else. Otherwise, you can let the, let the thoughts go. So when you're meditating, it's like you're giving yourself a good place to stay. You stay with the breath coming in going out. You're trying to make the breath comfortable. Ask yourself what kind of breathing would feel good right now. Long, short, heavy, light, fast, slow, deep, shallow. Try out different ways of breathing. See what feels best, and then stick with whatever feels best. You have that choice. You have that ability to create a sense of well-being here in the present moment. It's like building a shelter for yourself. So when you're staying in the shelter, then when the buses come by, you can look at the look at the signs and see where the buses are going and decide, well, these are the buses that take me where I want to go, and these are the buses that take me where I would never want to go in my life at all. That way you're in a better position to decide which thoughts you're going to follow, which ones are not, which ones are worth following, which ones are not. And you find that your life becomes a better life as a result, better for you, better for the people around you, because you're acting less under the influence of greed, aversion, and delusion, more under the influence of your discernment your mindfulness, your alertness. That way you're sure to benefit, and the people around you are not going to be subjected to your greed, aversion, and delusion either. So it's for everybody's good that we all train our minds. As I would have said, it's through a trained mind that we achieve happiness. Happiness doesn't come from having things or having positions, because those things can go, those positions can go. And then where are you left? Happiness comes from good qualities you build on the mind, and those will always be with you. So take some time to train the mind. When thoughts come in, don't ask yourself, do I like this thought or not like this thought? The question is, where is this going? Where is it coming from? What kind of mind state is leading to this thought? Where is it going to go if I go with it? And be a little bit more selective in which ones you go with. The mind is capable of all kinds of things, good and bad. So try to encourage the good, the good side. Let the bad side just die away. That's how we find happiness in life, a happiness that lasts not only for this life, but also into future lifetimes. This is based on our actions, based on what we're doing. And the results of what we've done, what we said and thought, those can last for a very long time. So make sure that you fix them well. <laughs>